Hello, and welcome to All the Trek, the show where I review every episode of Star Trek until my evil twin decides to take over. I'm Bree, and I'm going to be reviewing episodes 3 and 4 of Star Trek The Original Series. Episode 3, The Naked Time. I didn't get to see anybody naked in this episode, but I did get to see a shirtless Sulu. In this episode, the crew goes to check out a colony where everyone has mysteriously died while taking fully clothed showers. Someone touches something that they shouldn't be touching, and the Enterprise crew narrowly escapes also being mysteriously dead. But nobody escapes a rousing rendition of a traditional Irish song. There are so many gems in this episode that I'm not really sure where to start. There's everybody acting drunk, these weird space thermal beekeeper uniforms that they wear, there's a mini skirt squirt romper that I've been told is a scant, and I don't know if that's accurate, and I don't know where you get one, but I want one for daily use. And once again, some dude is trying to run the Enterprise like he owns it, and he is just doing a bang-up job. Except the part where he's almost getting everyone killed, spreading disease like wildfire, and making really sexist proclamations. Women shouldn't look made up. I'm sorry, but I don't even think I can begin to make my face look disgusted enough right now. This episode actually deals with some really good character issues. Uhura and Kirk actually treat each other like human beings. Spock admits that he's half human and kind of has an emotional breakdown about it. Kirk admits that he's kind of feeling insecure as a captain and he barely manages to control his feelings for Rand. And finally, they accidentally travel backwards through time in order to escape a dying planet's orbit. I can only imagine that this is a big setup for future episodes. Very entertaining episode, 4 out of 5 stars. Episode 4, The Enemy Within. And I just have to get something out of the way, but oh my god, that dog. It was in a tiny little suit and it was so cute and fuzzy. In this episode, there's a transporter malfunction and Captain Kirk is split into a good twin and an evil twin. You can tell which twin is evil because he's wearing guy liner. Of course, there are all kinds of shenanigans regarding semi-mistaken identity. Evil Kirk goes around being a jerk and drinking everybody's booze, which sounds like my usual Saturday night. Meanwhile, Good Kirk is hanging out in some kind of green smock with lots of gold rickrack on it. And once again, Janice Rand gets harassed. This woman cannot catch a break. There are a million creeps in space, and somehow they are all attracted to her. She's like a central fixed point that creeps travel to. Rand needs to install three locks on her door, and spacemen need to learn some damn manners. But kudos to her for not being afraid to fight off the captain and draw some blood. I would also like to point out that trying to do a close-up on Rand is absolutely hilarious, because you can tell they're just struggling to get the top of her hair into frame. The episode ends with a Hail Mary attempt getting both Kirks into the transporter and turning the two halves into one captain. The really concerning thing here is that there's a itty bitty piece of Captain Kirk that would totally accost Rand, which would make me really, really nervous if I were her. Three out of five stars for that guy liner, and also because it was really difficult to pay attention to the plot when there was an adorable dog hanging out in a Muppet suit. Thanks for watching all the Trek. Don't forget to check out what Alice and Megan have to say, just go ahead and click the link below. And make sure to check out the Educating Geeks website for the rest of our content. You can also find us on social media at Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and even Google+. Join me next week for another Trek Tuesday. Live long and prosper.